What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Far Rock 22 a.k.a. Infamous Owen, Infamous underscore Owen on IG. Um, this video today is going to be a little different. Um, you know, I talk about a little bit of everything. But this one is going to be aimed at those that are committing felonies. I'm talking about crimes to you drug dealing, scamming, robbing, gang banging ass adults. And I'm not talking about kids, adults. This is to you. This is dedicated to y'all. Now, I know a lot of hit dogs is going to holler. I know a lot of people may get upset. But I don't care. Because at the end of the day, you don't neither. So, what I'm going to say is this, right? To all you dudes that's out there committing these fucking crimes, putting yourself in, you know, harm's way, putting yourself in a way of, you know, getting arrested, my advice to you is this, right? Get away from the people that you love. Get away from the people that you love. Because if they don't if they're not doing anything, especially in your line of work, get the fuck away from them. Because the only thing you're gonna do is bring them trouble. Now at a certain point, you know, and I, I'm not talking about like the weed dealers, you know, these days, or in New York or California, because you know, police they they're not really coming for that. You know, um, you know, that's not really a much of an issue. But if you are on a high scale, get away from the people that you love because there are wolves out there. There's people out there. <laughs> I don't know, man, but it's like this, right? Your day is coming. There will be a day where you get caught. You know, here's the thing, right? Even if you think you slick, even if you think you're so smart in what you do, police will make a case on you. They will lie to get you in cuffs. They will play dirty to get you in cuffs. Why? Because you're playing a dirty game. There's no honor in this shit. People be thinking like, you know, oh, nah, people gonna hold it down. No, snitches come with this shit. If you out here selling drugs, scamming, gangbanging, robbing niggas, toting guns, you probably done told the wrong person already. And once your business is out, oh, believe me, the police know. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Now, of course, they may have certain ways of trying to get you in their hands. Some might wait. Some might go after you right away. But believe me, they know. And it's only a matter of time. So, because and, I, and, I'm, and I'm speaking from experience. I'm speaking from experience. This ain't no like, no, I'm speaking from experience. Listen, if you have someone in your life that's doing this type of shit and they living around you, living with you, speak up about it. Don't let that shit, don't let that go. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't let, don't let that shit just go. Speak up about it. Because obviously they don't care. You're going to get caught up in some bullshit that you don't need to be in. You know what I'm saying? And keep putting your foot on these people's neck. Because at some point in life, if you're making enough money, if you did this long enough, you're supposed to have a car. You're supposed to have your own space. You're supposed to have a few workers, you know, or somebody where they can help you out, stash your shit, make the runs for you. That's if you want to be a boss. Now, if you're doing your own dirt, get away from the people who have nothing to do with it. You know, that's the thing, too, because a lot of times when you try to tell people, you know, hey, listen, man, what you're doing is not good. What you're doing is not cool. What you're doing could get you caught up. What you're doing could get you hurt. They're going to play victim. They're going to make it seem like you're the crazy one for telling them you know what they're doing. They're going to tell you how long they've been doing it. They're going to tell you what what happened when they got caught or what the cases will be or the past situations just so they can make an excuse on why they're doing it. Or they haven't been caught big yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, get away from those type of people. Make sure that those people are not living around you. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, if you're dealing with some of these type of dudes, you know what I'm saying? Yo, trust me, your, your, your door is going to get kicked in eventually. You're going to get caught up in a situation and you, it's, it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be cool. Now, I'm not telling you to go leave the dude, 
But what I'm telling you is this, right? That line of work, make sure they keep that shit far away from you. Back to you. Make sure you keep that shit far away from the people that you love. Because the only thing you're going to cause is pain. You're going to cause animosity. You know what I'm saying? People are not going to like that. You, you know, if you get caught, somebody caught up in some shit that they ain't supposed to be in, you think it's going to be all peaches and cream after it's all said and done? I don't care if the case was closed or dismissed, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might get that person probation. You, you, like, nobody needs to be going through bullshit for your actions. So, scammers, drug dealers, gangbangers, gunslingers, robbers, go get your own spot. Go get your own space. Get away from the people that you love because they're not going to deserve the repercussions that you that's coming to you. They're not going to deserve it. And everybody's going to have their day. Sometimes some people get a slap on the wrist. Some people get a heavy sentence. But everybody has their day. And make sure it's just your day, not everybody else's day, because nobody needs to pay for the shit that you're doing. And if somebody tells you not to do something, don't think that they're hating on you. Don't think that they're trying to stop your money. You know what I'm saying? Because at this point in life, the drug dealers and people like that, they ain't the only ones making moves. The working people making moves too. The working people going on vacations. The working people are going buying houses. The working people are buying cars. The working people are buying real estate. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? A lot of times what I see, a lot of the drug dealers borrow from the working people. Because the working people money is guaranteed. So what I'm saying is this, right? I don't knock it because I've been in, I've been, I've been in the game. I've been around. But when I was doing things heavily, because I'm not gonna sit there and sugarcoat it. Yeah, I did shit out of my mom's crib, but that was a small scale, small scale, small scale shit. And that doesn't make it cool. That doesn't make it okay. But I learned from that. But even with the small scale shit, they came for me, and it ain't come for me the right way. They put some bullshit on me just so they could get me in their hands. So don't think like the game is honorable because the police will do some bullshit just so they could arrest you. They will lie just so they could arrest you. And just because, you know, they didn't get you the right way, that don't mean they don't know what you're doing. That don't mean that they won't try to come back and get you the right way the next time. So when people tell you, hey, listen, man, you know, uh, maybe you should go ahead and Go over there with that, or maybe you should get your own space. They're not telling you that because they hating you. They telling you that because they don't want to deal with the shit that's coming for you. You dig what I'm saying? But sometimes people don't want to hear that. They thinking everybody's attacking them. I'm telling you, yo, criminals be the victims. They always want to play the victim. It's rare that a nigga will sit there and say, all right, nah, they caught me. They got me. You know what I mean? Let me go ahead and do this. And you know what I'm saying? Handle my responsibilities. It's rare that happens. It's rare that happens. They, everybody wants to play the fucking victim. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm telling you this, once again, tell those people, get away from your shit. If you love them, trust me, you're going to tell them not to do it. People will get this thing confused as if, like, you know, like love equals money or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you give me something... That means you love me. If you're paying the rent, that means you love me. No, that's just hush money. That's just like, you know, money don't equal to love. You know? So I don't care how much money you make it. I'm not going to agree with some bullshit if it's bullshit. I don't give a fuck how much money you make it. I don't give a fuck what you put in my pocket or what you're trying to put in my pocket. I don't care if it's bullshit. I don't agree with it. Then that's it. Ain't nobody hating. You know what I'm saying? And that's and that's just not me. I'm just saying, like, in general, you know, people would think you hating because you tell them not to do something around you or tell them not to do something in your house. Nah, fuck that. Nah. Uh-uh. I'm at this age. I'm 30. I'm about to be 39 years old, man. And if you're doing some bullshit around me and I got love for you, I'm going to call it out. I'm calling it out. And you know what? I want people to call it out on me, too. If I did some bullshit, call me out on it. Call me out on it. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, make it make sense. If I am doing some bullshit, 
make it make sense. If I'm putting people's lives, if, I, if I'm adversely affecting your life, you know, yeah, call me out on it. Call me out on it because I'm going to call you out on it too. You know what I'm saying? But y'all on some real shit, we, 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 we all adults now. When you're doing certain acts, you're supposed to have your own. You're supposed to make sure that nobody's not in the way. You're supposed to make sure nobody's not in the way. So the scammers, all the people that's doing the, doing dirt, get the fuck out of your mother's crib. Stop bringing drugs to your girl's crib. Don't bring drugs to your baby mama crib. You know what I'm saying? Stop leaving guns in your baby mama crib. Stop leaving guns in your girl crib and your mama's crib. Get your own shit, because if you're making money, you're supposed to have your own. And if you don't have it after a couple of years, then quit the shit and go get a fucking nine to five. Because it's not it's not you. And all the successful drug dealers went to jail. Because that's a successful drug dealer. <laughs> you're either dead or you go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a successful drug dealer. Don't be a successful scammer. Don't be a successful shooter. Don't be a successful robber because the successful ones meet the consequences. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, man, you know, I don't speak about this enough. You know what I'm saying? But I'm sick of this shit. You know, I'm sick of this shit. Like, y'all tearing up y'all whole community. You know what I'm saying? And people think like they so slick that like they can't get caught. Because only a select few know your business. That's not true. Because the only time, yeah, let me tell you something. If you're out here selling dope, selling coke, selling crack, let me tell you something. You think it's not affecting certain people? You don't think it's affecting certain people's families? You don't think that kid that ain't eat, you don't think he's mad at you, the drug dealer? You taking food out of his mouth because his mama or his daddy taking that money and buying and, and purchasing shit from you. Sometimes it don't have to be a rival crack dealer that'll put a bullet in your head. It could be the son of the crack fiend. It could be the daughter of the crack fiend. It could be the cousin of the crack fiend that put your ass in jail. It don't have to be a nigga or a hating ass nigga from the street. It don't have to be the police catching you on some dumb shit. See, and that's what I'm saying. It, it, I don't know, that's why I said I'm not coming at the weed dealers. On that little small scale shit. But if you're doing it on the heavy scale too, get your own. Get your own. Because when the stick up kids come and they got your your family hog tied for a little bit of money, you got them in the way. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. And if you're doing fucked up shit, expect to hear fucked up shit from people. Expect to hear constructive criticism. Expect to hear, yo, I don't like what you're doing. Expect to hear, yo, you need to stop what you're doing. Or expect to hear, yo, you need to do it a different way. Expect to hear that. This is life. We at a certain age now where we can't be playing around. You're supposed to know better. You know better, you do better. And like I said, I'm not coming at the drugs. If you got to do what you got to do to make your money, do what you got to do to make your money. Just know that you got to live with those decisions and those consequences that come with it. But what I'm telling you is this, right? If you're doing fuckery, Make sure nobody you love is in the way. Make sure no one you love is in the way. Because if they are in the way, you obviously don't love them. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Because you could tell me you love me, but actions speak louder than words. You could tell me you could tell me you love someone, but actions speak louder than words. What are you doing to show that you love that person? If you're putting people in danger, you don't love them. You just love whatever it is that you're putting them in danger for. So what I'm telling you is this, man. I'm telling all y'all, man. Go get your own shit and get away from the people that you love if you're out here doing dirt. Because you're only going to bring problems to them. And nine times out of ten, sometimes the repercussions don't come back to you. It comes back to the people that you love. You know what I'm saying? And y'all need to get that. Y'all need to get that. Obviously, a lot of y'all not getting that. I look on the news every morning, every other morning, they raiding the projects and taking out a bunch of 16-year-olds to 26-year-old people, young cats, pulling them out their mama project building, their mama apartment, 
kicking in your kicking in their doors. That's what y'all want? Y'all okay with that? That's cool. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing to prevent that? I'm saying that's what you got that's what you gotta think of. What a, let me tell you something. One dude said this, right? You're gonna realize how real it is when your hands is behind your back and you can't scratch your fucking nose. Until then, I'm trying to tell you how to prevent that day. But at the end of the day, man, if you're going to do what you got to do, make sure the people that you love ain't around you. Because it's not fair to them over a couple little dollars. You know what I'm saying? It's not fair to them. And I've been through this shit before. You know what I'm saying? It's not fair. It's not fair. So if somebody tells you, listen, man, stop doing what you're doing, don't get upset with them. They love you. They don't want to see you locked up. They don't want to see you hurt. Don't get upset with them. Do better. Do better. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of money out here. The richest people on earth right now, they're not selling crack in the hood. They're not selling cocaine. They're not selling dope. They're fucking tech guys and they're real estate arm agents and things like that. They're actors, rappers. You know what I'm saying? Merchants. They're not selling drugs. So if you think you're going to get rich by selling drugs, oh boy, <laughs> Ooh, you ain't going to be rich for long. You ain't going to be rich for long. And the ones that did get rich, you would never hear about them. You would never know about them because they've never been caught. You only get one time to get caught. Once you get caught one time, you're caught forever. I learned that from an OG. You only get one time to really get caught. After you get caught that one time, you're caught forever. Switch it up. You know what I'm saying? Switch it up. Love yourself. Love your family. You know what I'm saying? Because this shit is corny. It's corny. So, like I said, if you out there and you're doing dirt, all your little, all your little cats from like what, 22 and up, get the fuck out of get get away from the people that you love. Because you're only gonna bring problems to them. And if you love them, you wouldn't want to bring problems to them. Get away from them. Go do your own dirt. If not, if you can't get away from them, then stop doing fucking dirt. Do it the right way. That's it. It's simple. But, yo, I'm off this. I've been talking to y'all for a minute. You know, like, share, subscribe, clip, cut, whatever you got to do. Donate. But y'all make sure y'all have a good day, man. Peace.